Okay. Hold on. Don't look at me yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, welcome to Table for Two. I'm your host, Victoria. Thank you guys so much for coming back. I believe this is episode four, which is really cool. Thank you so much for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, you would see that I have a costume on. Okay, this is the Halloween episode. I have bunny ears. I did a bunny makeup look. Okay, I believe it's on my TikTok already. Go check that out. But I got a lot of requests to do like Halloween makeup and I really like I get it I post a lot of makeup like content but I don't really consider myself like a makeup artist like a really good makeup artist so this is the best it's gonna get okay a shit ton of blush and you know some highlighter boom I look like a bunny today I wanted to talk about a topic because I woke up this morning and it was cold okay I live in southern California okay so when the sun disappears it's like kind of like a rare occasion okay so when it comes to cold weather and like gloomy and like clouds that's when I start to get a little bit like in my head a little bit I don't want to say like I get seasonal depression I don't want to say that but I do like find myself you know overthinking a lot feeling lonely sometimes just because it's the cold and it's dark and you know I just prefer the sun okay so I wanted to talk about this because I feel like I'm so good at being alone if that makes sense um I've I don't know I've just always been alone but I've I don't really feel lonely I've just like always been alone I like I don't know I just thought that was like a normal thing So I wanted to talk about like why it's okay to be alone, you know, like how to be alone but not feel lonely, if that makes sense. So I wanted to talk about about that today because I just feel like a lot of people, especially when it comes to weather like this, you know, they might feel the same way. You guys feel like lonely and just like, like you have nobody, but really it's just the weather like in our minds, bro. So I just wanted to talk about that. Um... I grew up, I always say that I grew up like an only child. Now, if you know me, you would know that there's a total of like five of us, okay? And so, yes, I do have siblings and I'm the last born, but I just always felt like I grew up an only child, okay? Everyone in my family is separated by four years, okay? Except for me. Me and my brother before me are eight years apart, okay? So growing up, I like could not relate to anybody at all because when you think about it, like when I was born, my oldest brother was like already 18, you know, and like so on and so forth, like 12, 14. And my brother before me was eight, you know, like they, an eight year old can relate more to a 12 year old. Okay. Than a newborn, you know, like it was just it was so long before I actually felt like I had siblings. I feel like I'm barely having siblings now. You know, I I grew up and I don't know, it just it didn't feel like siblings. It felt like I was living like with my uncles, if that makes sense. Like my oldest, oldest brother. Love him, okay? He's um, he's great to me. But like my earliest memories of us hanging out were like me hanging out with him and his daughter you know like it didn't feel like my I'm hanging out with my brother it felt like I was hanging out with like my uncle you know that brought my cousin you know if that makes sense so and so on and so forth like my sister after that like I feel like the earliest memories I have of her are her taking me to have a sleepover you know with her husband and like their daughter like like that was that was the vibe was just like kind of grown-ups and just seeing them in this like uncle and auntie light you know my other sister I slept with her you know we shared a room my whole life and I was little and but I was with her you know we bonded over watching the Kardashians together you know I was at like a young age but like I felt like if I was watching her tv shows you know like maybe we can have a relationship and maybe we can be friends you know and it just kind of really wasn't like that my brother before me, you know, uh, we grew up, we were like in the house the most out of all of my siblings. And I remember like it was so hard to like bond with him because he's a boy. He's a boy and he was like a teenager, you know, and I was like a kid. 
And so like, and the computer, I remember the computer was in his room. So I remember I'd, I'd go in his room like all the time, so, you know, so I could watch my YouTube videos and so I can play on DisneyChannel.com. And he would get so annoyed, you know, he'd say like, get out, my friends are coming. And I would just be like, I would just feel so like, dude, I don't belong here. Like, I have no one to talk to. I have no one to, like, be friends with, you know? And it was like that for literally my whole life. Like, I tell them now that I'm barely starting to get siblings because I'm at an age where I feel like I can talk to them. I feel like I can relate to things, you know? Or they kind of see me as like not a little kid i mean i feel like they still do which is hard not to i get it but i feel like i can just i'm barely starting to get my siblings so i always say like i grew up an only child that is just i just always say that other than like being an only child i also feel like i i always wanted to like relate to them so for example my sisters you know i shared a room with her and you know once i like can remember she was at that age where she was starting to go out, you know, with her friends and go clubbing. And it was her and her friend group. They would all get ready in the bedroom, you know. And I just remember it smelling like fucking hairspray and like sweat and like burnt hair. Like that's what I remember the room smelling like in there. And I would just be in there like a little girl watching them all get ready, tease their hair, curl their hair, do their makeup and I just remember thinking like, wow, like I want a friend group, you know, like I want this. I want this energy. I want this vibe. I want this friend group. So like I feel like for like my whole life, I always kind of longed to have that like a like a big friend group of girls. Uh, thankfully, I met my best friend in third grade. And it was me and her, me and her for my whole life. Um, up until high school we went to separate high schools and that was such like high school uh, is an episode on its own I did not like high school whatever like in high school I feel like I just tried so hard to just feel included in any friend group you know I tried being friends with the super cool kids and like I just could not relate to them like at all like at all I couldn't relate to them so that didn't work out I tried being friends with like the super smart kids and that was even worse I could not relate to them at all and like the sporty kids but like that's just like I just I never found my group I never found my group I feel like the only time in high school that I like really felt like I had like a good group of people around me was like my senior year and it was when I joined, like, my drama class. I feel like, and and I know that they're going to know who I'm talking about, but, like, there was, like, two people that I just feel, like, really understood me in a way that I've never been, like, understood. And I love that so much. Like, I, I pride, like, I feel like that's a love language. I feel, like, everyone said, like, there's five love languages. There's, like, the, like, the touch. There's um talk like the affirmations there's gift giving um acts of service there's another one i think i know there's another one i just can't remember it but i feel like another love language that like i think should be a thing is like feeling understood you know and and i don't even know how to explain it like i love when i feel like someone knows me i i love that and I feel like that's a love language in its own. Like when I don't have to say something like you guys, you just get me. Like you just get me what I said. I don't even have to say it out loud. I feel like that's a love language. And so in high school, like I feel like my senior year, that's when I kind of found my people. And I feel like that's why YouTube, like growing up was so important to me, you know, because I get I've met those people that like. I tell them like, oh my gosh, like I, I'm going to meet my favorite YouTuber and oh my gosh, I grew up loving her. And they look at me like, how could you love this random YouTube person that you've never met and anything like that? But it's because growing up, you know, feeling so like isolated in my own home and feeling so like by myself, YouTube was my outlet. You know, these people, I felt like 
they were my friends. I felt like they were my siblings. I felt like they were there for me, you know? I watched them grow up, and they didn't watch me grow up, but, like, I was growing up with them, you know, if that makes sense. So that's why, like, I have such a sweet spot for certain YouTubers because I'm like, you guys were, like, as much as you guys don't know me, like, you guys were there for me, if that makes sense. And I know I fucking sound like a crazy person, okay? But that's just how I see it. And so... I don't know I just I never found that friend group that I always wanted because my sisters had it you know I never found that and I never felt like I fit in I never felt like I connected with anybody you know and so that's why like when I met like a handful of people that I like connected with oh I would keep them like forever like they are my friends and they know who they are like they know who they are like I I I appreciate their friendship for who they are and how they make me feel. And I hope it's mutual. I really do. But because of all that, you know, I was just always alone. Okay. And so after high school, I started, you know, taking myself on dates. And I say dates because it would be like to dinner and it'd be like just me. It was just me. And it started with you know, me eating in the car. I love, love, love eating in my car. Like I can go through the drive-thru and just sit in my car and eat in the parking lot, listen to the radio, listen to music, put on a YouTube video. And I love that. Like that is just so peaceful to me. Eating is like one of my favorite things to do. So the fact that I can be like alone in my car, like feel safe and then just eating, like that is like my favorite thing to do. I remember P.F. Chang's that was like a big deal for me because if you know P.F. Chang's, it's like a fancy like Panda Express, you know, and so it's Chinese food, but it's like, it's like dim lighting, it's big tables, big booths. So the idea of me like going in there by myself, that was like kind of crazy, you know, and that was like the first step, you know, because eating in your car is one thing, but eating at a big ass booth by yourself. Oh my God, that's a whole other thing. So I remember I went to P.F. Chang's and I was like, just table for one. And they were so confused. And honestly, I was like, I get it. I get why you'd be confused. But, you know, just table for one. And I just remember eating there. I put like a YouTube video on and I was just eating. And I was eating as slow as I wanted to. I was watching any videos like that I wanted to. And I was just in my own thoughts. Like I was just, I was just enjoying my own company you know, and I really appreciated those moments, you know, where I was like going to P.F. Chang's by myself and just like really being like in tune with myself. And I really started to learn certain things and certain like, not quirks, but just certain things that I do. Like I just started learning more about myself, you know, that things that I've never even learned about, you know, how I handle certain situations alone and how I talk when I'm alone and just stuff like that. You know, my biggest, my biggest flex, you know, is that I've eaten boiling crab alone. Now, if you know boiling crab, you know, it's a, imagine a big ass bag, okay, of shrimp, pound of shrimp, okay, spicy, you know, you got gloves on or you got the whole like plastic, you know, bib on, dirty ass hands, okay, they're asking you for refills, your soda cup is full of just spicy shit. You know, and imagine me doing that by myself. I remember, I remember I was craving boiling crab. And I asked like three people, like, do you want to go to boiling crab? Oh, I can't today. Okay, okay, let's move on. Uh, Do you want to go to boiling crab? Oh, I, I'm really busy. I can't. Okay, okay. Do you want to go to boiling crab? Oh, I can't. T- like nobody could go to boiling crab. Okay. And I was craving it, like, so much that day. And I remember I had gotten off of work. Like, I was tired, but I was so hungry. And I had just been, like, craving it all day. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to, like, wait. Like, I feel like I've, I've never been like that. Like, I've never, like, if somebody couldn't go, like, I would still go. So, and I get it. Boiling crab is a big deal. Like, just go. And I did. I went to Boiling Crab by myself and I just remember like if I can do that I can do anything like 
I am alone in a restaurant right now. Like, and the thing is, like, every single, sorry, every single table was full of friend groups or, like, families, like, big groups. And I'm just by myself. And I know people are looking. Like, it was, like, the first five minutes where people are, like, looking and noticing that I'm by myself, you know, thinking, like, oh, did she get stood up? Is she, like, crazy? Like, oh, I could never do that. Like, I know that's what they're thinking for, like, the first five minutes. And then people forget, you know. And so for the first five minutes, I was shitting bricks because I was like, oh, my God. Like, and I remember it was also the day that I forgot my AirPods. So I just had to listen to a YouTube video, like, out loud, like, on low volume, but, like, out loud. Like, I just remember it was just, like, I can do this. Like, I can do this. And I did it. And I remember feeling so proud of myself. Like, that was just such a flex, you know, for me that, like, I can do that by myself. You know, dirty ass hands, but by myself. And that was like a, like, I unlocked, like, a new sense of independence, if that makes sense. I know that my next, you know, flex or, like, my next, like, level up would be eating shakies by myself. Because shakies, I feel like is like, you know, or like a somewhere that has like an arcade, like a BJ's or something. I feel like that's my next like step, you know, because imagine like going to the arcade by yourself. Imagine playing like basketball, like or ski ball and you're not competing. Like you're just playing by yourself. That literally sounds so terrifying to me. It makes me want to do it. So that is going to be my next my next level up you know getting my license was so important to me because I just I felt like that was going to be like the first step of me just like being yes being alone but like in my own space if that makes sense like I was alone in my room but I was still like in the house you know that I didn't feel connected to but now I'm alone in my car that's all mine like this is my world like the car so I remember that you know, feeling like I needed a car because I needed that like independence, you know. So like in that whole process, I really learned, you know, I was saying I really learned a lot about myself. I learned, you know, how to be a good friend to myself. You know, I, I, rem- I know one of my friends asked me the other day like oh my gosh like how can you create videos you know by yourself like isn't it crazy don't you just feel like it's you're so weird because you're just talking to like nobody and it just really put into into perspective like I'm fucking crazy like I can have full-blown conversations with myself where like they're I'm talking to another person like we have opposite opinions like I'm fucking crazy and like the thing is that was just so normal to me That was so normal to me to just be talking and like responding. But that's because I was always like by myself. Like I was always alone. So in all of this, like I've learned how to be a good friend to myself. You know, how to talk to myself. I don't know if it's like the Gemini in me. But but that's just how I've just always been like that, you know, because I just never felt connected to like my family you know it's kind of something that I had to build in myself it's something that I had to like it's like a muscle now like I had to build it and make it strong and you know here I am and so yeah because I never felt connected to my family I had to be independent you know it's not like I chose this life of independency like no like I just kind of I was dealt these cards and this is the most I could do with them you know so, yeah, like I, I started eating alone in my car. We made it to P of Chang's. Next step. Oh, boiling crap. The next step is Shakey's um, or like an arcade, like Big Owls or something or even like bowling. Imagine if I fucking go bowling by myself. That would be so crazy. But I think I could do it. I think I could do it. You guys should let me know. Should I go to Shakey's or should I go to... Like somewhere where that has an arcade or should I go bowling by myself? Let me know. You know, wh- which one do you think I should like? Which one should be the next level? OK, let me know. So. I don't know. I also just I also think about it of in a way like I need to enjoy this alone time because I feel like everyone always talks about like being in your 20s and how that is. And I just feel like this is such a precious time of my life, you know. I'm 
not the same person that I was even a year ago. And I know I'm not going to be the same person a year from now. You know, like this is the moments where I like, I'm really like learning so much about myself that I've never even like realized. I want a big family. Like I want a big family. <laughs> um, I always hope, you know, and I always say that I want four kids. It has to be an even number. I always say that. So I want a big family. You know, I want the dogs. I want the cats. I want, you know, a big family. So I'm going to embrace this alone time, you know, that I get to have right now. But I feel like, you know, because of this, like all of this, like alone thing that I have and being in my own head and having my own company, it's kind of like I never let myself get anxiety, if that makes sense. Like I never let myself get to that. Like I never... Because I know a lot of people that have anxiety, you know, and they tell me their struggles and everything. And I feel like being by myself this whole time, like I just, I never let myself get anxiety, you know, because I thought about it in a way of like, it would ruin my own day. Like I would be the reason I'm ruining my own day, my own experience. So I looked at it like that, like, do not get anxiety, do not get nervous, because you're going to ruin it for yourself. You know, you're by yourself the whole time, try your best to like yourself. That's just how I just handled things. And so I recommend to everyone, every single person to, like, enjoy your own time. Go to McDonald's in the drive through eat in your car, and then maybe go inside and eat. Like slowly build up to that to just enjoy being alone. You know, I feel like we're constantly, you know, on our phone. So we're constantly distracted. But like to really be alone and enjoy your own company, it's really hard to do that. You know, you have to be in your own thoughts and you have to like entertain yourself. And it's really hard to do that. You know, it's this has taught me to be like, I don't like saying independent because I feel like people hear independent and they hear like, Oh, I don't need nobody. Like, it's not that I don't need anybody. I enjoy people. I enjoy having people. I feel like I just don't, like, rely on people, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like there's a difference. Like, I feel like I'm, yes, I'm independent, but I'm not. Like, I just, I don't rely on others. Like, I can still get something done on my own, if that makes sense. Um, It's taught me to be, like, confident in like my own like not confident in a way of like oh I'm so beautiful like we know that that has been hard for me but I'm saying confident in like myself like my actions and how I handle situations and being able to carry a conversation you know I feel like that's where I've learned to be confident like self-aware you know because I'm constantly alone so like aware of my surroundings aware of people's energies like I've just I've learned to just enjoy myself you know not having uh, like the need to be constantly entertained by somebody, by a friend, by a person. Like I've learned to just be by myself. And so I don't know, like I, I, I also want it to be clear that like I do have friends, you know, I don't want it to like, I do have friends. I just, I always saw it as like, I don't want to bother anybody, you know, let me just be alone. Like I don't want to bother anybody. And you know, and that probably stems from the whole sibling thing, you know, like just constantly feeling like a bother to everybody, you know, I think it stems from that. I don't know. I just, I'm barely starting like to learn how to enjoy like company, if that makes sense. I'm barely starting to learn how to enjoy my siblings and how to handle that. You know, I'm starting to barely have conversations with my sisters that I've always wanted to have, but I could never have because it just always felt so awkward because I feel like they looked at me like a little kid and I'm like, uh, I'm doing the same things you were doing at my age, but it just feels weird talking to you because you're like a grown up. Like I, it's kind of like, I don't even see you as my sister. I see you as like my tia, you know? Like, I'm, I'm barely starting to enjoy that. I don't know. I just, I wanted to make this episode, okay, because I woke up and it was cloudy. And I was like, damn, like, it's that time of year that I always get sad and I always get so, like, ugh, like, I have, like, no one. But then I'm like, okay, I don't care. 
that I like I'm still gonna do me like I'm still gonna go out to eat by myself and everything but like I don't know I just I feel like this would help someone you know that's out there battling with that you know because I know certain people that you know if they want to go to Target or something you know they'll invite me like hey let's go to Target and then if I can't go they won't go at all because they can't be alone and I'm like damn like it's those moments that I really appreciate all the alone time that I had. Just be in your own thoughts, you know, really try to learn about yourself and how you handle things. Because sometimes I like I'll go through a problem and then I deal with it alone. Not because like I don't have anybody. Of course, I always have someone that I can talk to, but really just because it's like my problem like, it's something that I need to handle. It's something that I need to learn how to handle. And I don't know. I just, I feel like that's just always been how I am. You know, my mom, it was always my mom and I growing up. You know, we'd always go. It was always me and her at Kmart. It was always, like, her and I at the thrift store. Her and I at Thrifty Ice Cream. Like, it was just always her and I. And I feel like she's the reason why I am how I am because I think she's the same way I feel like my mom isn't necessarily independent because again like it's not like she's like I don't need nobody because I know well I don't know actually (laughs) I know that she can take help from others but I know she won't rely on them I know that like I know like if she wants to get something done she'll get it done you know Like, she probably won't ask for help. She'll get it done. And that's, like, how I am. And I just, I feel like that, I get it from my mom, you know? Um, Growing up, like, we, we would go to Kmart. And and she would have a certain amount of money. And would just say, like, we're going to get a layover. No, not layover. Layaway at Kmart. So you just pick out whatever you want. And we can't get it right now, but we'll get it eventually. And... Like, sure, she could have asked, you know, to get more money and then we would be able to leave Kmart with everything that we wanted with, but she didn't rely on anybody. She just did it on her own. And I don't know. I just, I feel like it's different than independence. I feel like we just, we love company. We love help from others, but I just don't rely on anybody. My message to anybody out there that's listening to this, that's, struggling with maybe they've lost a friend you know maybe they are starting to feel unconnected to their friendships you know because we do grow and we do outgrow people and I feel like that's also hard to learn you know my best friend that I had my whole life and then we separated in high school we rekindled after high school she's now my co-worker and it's like nothing's changed you know like I know we don't relate to a lot of things now because we're just our own individuals and things like that. But at like the core of it, like I know we have each other's back and like uh, like each other's best interests at heart, you know. So I feel like it just it comes with that. Like I feel like growing up, you know, you just you grow apart from someone. So I feel like this time. It could be, it's really easy to just feel alone and feel lonely and feel like you have nobody. But try not to look at it in a negative light, you know. Try to look at it in a positive way of, I'm alone right now, but I'm not going to be later. So let me just try to enjoy this time that I have, you know. Let me try to learn some things about myself. Now that you have all this time alone, now that you can be in your own thoughts, Maybe you will, maybe you'll learn something that you never knew. Yeah. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope it wasn't like too all over the place. It did feel a little all over the place, but uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope this helps at least one of you guys and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye. I really hope that that was a good episode. 
I really hope that was a good episode. And I also forgot that I have this makeup on.